Good morning. Our gathering song today is number 631, Sing Your Praise to the Father, number 631. <clears throat> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let's call to mind our shortcomings and failures. Ask God's pardon and forgiveness for the worthy celebration of this most holy Eucharist. We shall pray together, I confess, to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary of Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord of God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty of a living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your beloved Son, we may abound in good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the second book of Samuel. After Nathan had spoken to King David, the king went in and sat before the Lord and said, Who am I, Lord God, and who are the members of my house that they have brought me to this point? Yet even this you see as too little, Lord God. You have also spoken of the house of your servant for a long time to come. This too you have shown to man, Lord God. You have established for yourself your people Israel as yours forever, and you, Lord, have become their God. And now, Lord God, confirm for all time the prophecy you have made concerning your servant and his house, and do as you have promised. Your name will be forever great when men say, The Lord of hosts is God of Israel. And the house of your servant David stands firm before you. It is you, Lord of hosts, God of Israel, who said in a revelation to your servant, I will build a house for you. Therefore your servant now finds the courage to make this prayer to you. And now, Lord God, you are God and your words are truth. You have made this generous promise to your servant. Do then bless the house of your servant, that it may be, may be before you forever. For you, Lord God, have promised, and by your blessing the house of your servant shall be blessed forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. Lord, remember David and all his anxious care, how he swore an oath to the Lord, vowed to the mighty one of Jacob. The Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father. I will not enter the house where I live, nor lie on the couch where I sleep. I will give my eyes no sleep, my eyelids no rest, till I find a home for the Lord, a dwelling for the mighty one of Jacob. The Lord God will give him the home of David his father. The Lord swore an oath to David, a firm promise from which he will not withdraw. For your own offspring I will set upon your throne. The Lord God will give him the throne of David his father. If your sons keep my covenant and the decrees which I shall teach them, their sons too forever shall sit upon your throne. The Lord God will give him the throne of David his father. For the Lord has chosen Zion. He prefers her for his dwelling. Zion is my resting place forever. In her I will dwell, for I prefer her. The Lord God will give him the throne of God, David his father. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said to his disciples, Is a lamb brought in to be placed under a bushel basket or under a bed and not to be placed on a lamb stand? For there is nothing he didn't accept to be made visible. Nothing is secret except to be, except to come to light. Anyone who has ears to hear or to hear. He also told them, take care what you hear. The measure with which you measure will be measured out to you. And still more will be given to you. To the one who has, more will be given. From the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The liturgy of today reminds that God is a generous giver. We listen to the first reading of today. David recalls his past from being a shepherd boy, he was elevated to be the king of Israel. And God fought a many a battle for him. 
No, David is the one who established the kingdom of Israel formally. No, he reigned almost 40 years. And which is known as the golden era of the history of Israel. And the gospel passage tells the same message. Jesus says, the measure that you gave is the measure that is given out to you. No, it's a very simple, practical thing. Now, tell me, you know, the, what do you call it, the daily work that we do, even with regard to our faith. The more we grow in faith, we grow more closer towards the portion of Jesus. The simple principle, if we don't use it, we lose it. That's what Jesus says. Those who have not, even what they have will be taken away. You know, if we have something, if we don't use it, you know, slowly, you know, we, um, uh, we lose that, eh, in, anything. And through the liturgy of today, Jesus invites us to place our trust in him and be generous so that God, the generous giver, will be generous to us. Let's place our prayers and petitions before the Lord, asking his blessings. For Francis our Pope, William our Bishop, all the leaders of the church, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Pray for Christians all over the world, that they may be generous, especially people, those who are in need. We pray to the Lord. Pray for the whole world, once again, reeling under the weight of the pandemic, that they may find comfort and consolation in the one true God. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for the sick and suffering, especially those who have asked for our prayers, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for Christian unity, that Christians may come together and work for the well-being of every human being. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, let's place our personal intentions before the Lord. Let's remember and pray for all the faithful departed, especially for Edmund and Dolores Cocot, for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. God, our loving Father, we bring our prayers and petitions before you. The liturgy of today reminds that our God is generous. He gives lavishly to everyone grant us the grace we may open our hearts and minds trust in the providence of the one true God so that we can be generous to one another make this prayer through Christ uh, our Lord
Precious and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray, and in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation through Christ uh, our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and every way to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For our compassion for the waywardness that's ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with the thrones and dominions, and with all the host and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without the end we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fond of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving things, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <laughs> 
the mystery of Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in a mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who are pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the serious command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. A lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and uh, ever Amen. the peace and joy of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit <laughs> Receive it, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, while the Father and the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. Bring me by your most holy body and blood from every sin and evil, and keep me always faithful commandments, and never let me part from you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only to the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. Please. Do not let me ever be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, we may always glory in your gift through Christ uh, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you everyone for being part of this Eucharistic celebration. Also would like to thank those who joined us through the live stream and those who later participate through YouTube. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Thank you, Father. Our ascending hymn is number 746, Go Make of All Disciples, number 746. Mm -hmm. 